It's your girl Kimmy, Tiffany, Cameron, and today we're going to talk about animal cruelty and the environment. Well, yes. um, you know, a little of both. <laughs> yeah, it, it combines together. Yeah. yeah. So, as you know, Tiffany had a, a sensitive topic um, on her channel with her baby bunny, Lola. And um, how she, I didn't know that you got Lola as a, you know, it was a bandit, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, she was a stray. Basically, one day, my brother and his friends were playing basketball, and they stopped and noticed this little frail thing, like, hanging out, out on the side of the basketball court. And they brought her home and realized, like, she had fleas and, like, everything all over her. And she was like really skinny. You could tell she hadn't had a meal or water in a long time. Um, so they were nice. His friend, who has a dog, got rid of the dog. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And he took the dog out of its cage because you know they had like the little crates or whatever. Yeah. Which I don't agree with, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> um, and he gave the um, the cage or the crate to my my bunny, and she wasn't my bunny at the time, but. And they gave it bedding, they put bedding in it, and they fed her, gave her water, and cleaned off, like, the fleas and stuff. They went out and bought, like, the flea stuff to get everything off of her. And they already had enough pets, so they didn't know who they can give it to. So they came to me because I never say no to a pet. <laughs> and they brought her to me. And, like, over the years, like, we fed her and took care of her and now she's all healthy Yay. and <laughs> yeah <Lola. laughs> healthy and chunky and bad we'll show a picture <laughs> if possible. yeah i'll put up a picture um and i thought the whole time that she probably just ran away from her owners or whatever um but recently i had to take her to the vet because i noticed that she has like like an ear infection or whatever and I took her in and the vet was telling me that she has ear mites and you get oh. ear mites from the soil. And I'm like, how could she get ear mites? You know, she doesn't go outside. I don't, I don't take her outside. She stays in my room all the time. Um, they said that they, right as soon as they said that, like, was she a stray? Did you get her as a stray? And I was like, yeah. They're like, um, they can get it from the soil outside. So probably when she was there, that's when she got it. And over the years, the thing just got worse. And I'm just now noticing it because it takes some time for it to like to show. And then the other lady, I guess the assistant to the vet was like, it happens all the time. They said around Easter, people get rabbits and then they can't take care of it or their kids aren't playing with it. And they just let them out the wow. house. They just let them run away. And these are like pets that don't know any better it's not like they they're in like outside and they understand like how outside works and how to get food and stuff so they just let her out just let her do her own thing and obviously she was starving she didn't know how to take care of herself and she almost like starved to death and they said it happens all the time especially around easter because that's when everybody wow. wants to Easter. i parties. never knew that not me oh, either wow. until she was telling me that and then i started thinking I'm like wow i did get her around easter time and like after they told me that, like I was just like really heartbroken. That's crazy. I was just thinking about like how evil people are in this world, and I was there crying like a little baby on the on the vlog <laughs> because just the thought of someone doing something like that, like missing out on something so great. Yeah, especially she's when such he, a good, especially like, like for pet. like bunnies and rabbits and things. Like they're not outside originally, but they're all born in some place. Exactly. And then, yeah. <laughs> So of course they're not gonna know. They're anything. not gonna know. They're not gonna like, know. How to like take dogs, care of like dogs and cats, they're gonna be able to hunt because mm -hmm. that's in their nature. Yeah. But yeah. But you, even even so, like if you put a dog, if you're growing up a dog or a cat inside your house, home, they don't they know, know the anything. Outside, yeah. They're you know? not familiar with it. All they know is being a home pet. You, there's words for it. There I forgot what's the word for um there's I think is it domestic, like when they're in yeah, the domestic yeah. the, when they're in the house like fairies. Wild and yeah. Yeah. Fairies. fairies. They don't know how to get food out in the wild. Unless they were born into it. But majority of these animals they need our help to yeah, they don't know how feed. To... You know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um but another thing that we wanted to talk about was the whole if you live in Florida or if you live in a probably Georgia, because Georgia is growing too. Um but down here we noticed a lot of, like 
all the land is like um Being getting built over yeah like they cut down by the places trees. that's not going to be used yeah they cut down the trees and they're building stupid townhouses down here that people cannot afford like three hundred thousand dollars for a townhouse that you don't even have a backyard like really unbelievable and you guys wonder why these animals come to your house because that was their land yeah. where else are they gonna go exactly you know and, and another topic I know is like kind of moving away, but like when people get these, um, I'm about to say anaconda, <laughs> pythons, in the, oh. pythons, they throw the freaking pythons in the Everglades because they can't take care of the python because the freaking python gets so big that they can't leave yeah. it in the tank. They go to the freaking Everglades and throw it, and now the alligator and the python fight each other and like they explode because wow. they can't, you know, they're not supposed to be in this. Pythons yeah. don't, you know, they don't belong down here in Florida, mm -hmm. you know, and why would you waste your time and money to buy something that you cannot exactly afford mm -hmm. or don't have room, you know? So that's what irks my nerves. Yeah. You know, you have to like commit to it and you can't be moving them from their home. Like you can't take them from their home and take them somewhere else and then be like, well, why? Why is the alligator and yeah. the python fighting each other? <laughs> and it's not. It's not common. That's not their environment. Yeah. The python environment is not in the Everglades. You know, they. I can only imagine seeing a python. I mean, there's videos, of course, on YouTube and pythons and um, alligators. You know, attacking or whatever. And then recently, um, not too long ago, um, coyotes migrating from the north to. To Florida down here, I forgot what's going up down up there, but it's not coyotes. They don't have their homes. Yeah, anymore. coyotes don't belong in Florida. We're building and taking over. Yes. Even like I was telling y'all with the bees, like people don't understand. Over the years, bees have been dwindling, and if we don't have bees, then we don't have vegetate vegetation. We don't have flowers. We don't have plants or anything like that. So you know, at the end of the day, the Lord put us here to take care of these animals, and we're basically destroying it because we want to build a townhouse. And <laughs> don't let me go on the ozone layer because <laughs> and the whole global warming. And I'm like, <laughs> like we want to have the animals, but then we don't want to do what we're supposed to do to make sure that they're taken care of. Yeah, right. and it doesn't make sense. Like I love dogs, especially like cats and stuff like that. I like animals, but. I know I barely right now can take care of myself. I'm not gonna get an animal and then yeah, you have to know what you can do <laughs> for yourself yeah. and what you can do for the pet. If you can't do anything for the pet, <laughs> you barely it, make like, it. Don't try and go out and get a pet. Yeah, like they know I work at a pet pharmacy and there are like many customers who call in and crying and try to say, oh, you need to give me a discount because I'm on social security and I'm like, okay, I understand that, but everybody else is struggling as well. If you're not able to do what you're supposed to do, why do you have the pet? Especially spending a hundred something dollars a month on medication to keep the pet alive when you're not able to do for yourself. And then you call a company or a business and you try to jip them or chew them out. But what people don't understand is you're trying to get a discount and try to jip in a company, when the company closes down, where else are you going to go? True. So, you know, at the end of the day, you have to think about these things. I want a dog. I love dogs. I want a dog. But I know at the right now, it's I'm not going to be able. It's a responsibility. They're like babies. It's more expensive than babies. But <laughs> I'm not going out there to go get no baby off the street. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, because I know I'm not going to be able to afford it right now. Wow. It's really cute. <laughs> yeah. That's true. But I know I'm not going to be able to afford it. And I want to be able to give my dog everything. The, the backyard the good food, not no processed food. I want to be able to get, you know, give them salmon because I eat salmon. So I want to be able to give them those things. Make sure their coat, their coat and their fur is on point every week. So take them to some place to take care of them. I don't want to be able to like, oh no, I you look dirty. All I can do is wash you. I want to be able to take them to the groomers and have their fur look cute when they're bowing and everything and make them Aww. get pampered. Like I would get pampered. Yeah. So it's crazy. It's, it's, it is. It's. I think the overall message that we're trying to say is like animals have feelings too. Yes. And if you can't take care of them, then don't get a pet. Or don't hurt and them. And don't hurt them. In like, any way. I remember it was on YouTube this girl, these little kids, like, they torture a freaking turtle. And, like, why would you do that? Like, like they're not doing anything to you. Yeah, like, the they're turtles not doing anything. Just... 
Don't walking, mind it. Doing what it's doing, and you're there trying to what? What does it benefit you? Yeah. And the turtles walking past. He can't defend you? himself. Exactly. You know? That's the thing with animals. Like they're, they're they're not that bright. You know, they're doing what they're supposed to do in nature. They're yeah. supposed to be animals, and they don't know any better. And you're like hurting them. Like they hurt. Like they, ha- they have just feelings. the way that you know. Yeah, they have feelings, and if you hurt them, they're going to hurt. Just like. You would, you and, and it's I. the thing. I disagree with that. I think animals are very, very smart. No, they're smart in their own way. But yeah. like, even like when I was watching on, on YouTube, this mm-hmm. guy he lost his dog ten years ago, and they he ended up finding him. And like the dog, when he saw his owner, he freaked out. He was crying. He was jumping. He was whimpering. I was like, oh my gosh! It's like I found my man. He was like so that. sweet. <laughs> but like he was. <laughs> He was like jumping all over him and I saw another one where this dog, his owner came back from Iraq. She was there for like three years and or how many years and the dog passed out like literally. Oh, because he was so happy. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> she was, the dog was so, I gotta show you after we're done, but the dog was so happy mm. that the dog passed out. And then, and then her owner's like, what's wrong with you? And the dog would come to, and then, uh, and then, uh, and then the dog would come to, uh, and pass out. Oh, so I'm like, like, they, they, I'm like, I don't know how people hurt animals, but you know, in this. Or hoarding mm-hmm. animals. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, because that's another way of them hurting. Yeah. Hurting them. Like, you. With a million cats Most people in that house. do that, like they think they're doing the right thing, but in reality, it's yeah, not. No, like yeah. when I watch it on, I forgot, is it TLC? They have a hoarding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like animal hoarding, like why would you leave it in the cage? Doodle all over, mm-hmm. like, I mean, sorry, feces all over. <laughs> and like, I remember I watched another hoarding, like, she had like at least five dead cats in her house. She had so much stuff built up in her house, like, the people were cleaning, they saw, they found all these dead cats. And I was like, what? shake my head. Like, I could only, I could only imagine what else they found in that house. But, Dead yeah. bodies. Okay. <laughs> like, that's so, body. somebody came in, <laughs> got tired, and just passed away over the years. <laughs> so unhealthy. Yeah, you can't underdo it, you can't overdo it. Because <laughs> I even go to the, sh- one time, me and Mark went to the shelter and um, to see the animals, you know, because we wanted to volunteer. And, you know, we see so many of these animals, they come from different places around the world and from hoarders. And I'm like, oh my gosh, these poor little babies, you know, like, and it's, I feel bad because, you know, some of these shelters, they only have, these animals have certain time of being there and then they're executed. Um, I shouldn't say that, but um, they put down to sleep. Um, and there's some shelter, the one here by my house, they actually let them stay there no matter how long. It's oh, a no kill nice. shelter. That's nice. yeah. I love that. So I, I was like, oh my gosh, I y'all. I love that. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of no kill shelters around. I mean, yeah. uh, there's a lot of kill shelters. Kill shelters yeah. around. You know, so I love, I, whenever I have a chance, I want to give them, like, I have this cat food I've been having for a long time Aww. that I was supposed to give to them to donate, you know, so I'm, I want me to make my way over there to donate. <laughs> <laughs> you can donate it to my coworker, like, right now. Now she's currently taking care of a stray. Oh really? Yeah. I have a, I really I have a big old bag. Yeah. You can take oh it. that's great. Yeah. She'll be so happy. I have a big bag of oh, nine lives. Oh she love that. She yeah. probably bake you a whole bunch of stuff. That's like the type of person she. Is. <laughs> no, I really I can give it to you after. Oh yay! Look, Woo! look at the great came out of this video. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But if you guys have anything that you guys want to talk about, like comments because you know like down here in south florida there's so much land that they're taking away from the animals and they're cutting down and i wish i could fight for it i don't know how to go about it but i would really fight for it because i, I feel so. i i'm so defensive when it comes to animals you know so if you if anybody who's willing to need any help holler at your girls yeah. because we would love to stand up for yeah. you know, the animals you we know? know it's a lot of work and we probably wouldn't do like the best out yeah. of it, but I mean anything would help out. Yeah, that's yeah. True. A little goes a long way. Yes. So let us know. Yeah. Comment, subscribe, and like. Bye, dumplings.